Thank you, Mayor Khan. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ghazi, for this um, uh, amazing uh, virtual iftar the second time in a row, and we appreciate uh, very much to be part of this program. You know, everybody uh, would agree that California is a fantastic place, amazingly multicultural, multi-religious, multi-ethnic. However, for this diverse environment to continue to prosper and move forward, the constant strong interaction and mutual understanding and respect among diverse communities is extremely important. That's what the Council of Azerbaijan has tried to do here for the last nine years through diverse programs, bringing various faith and ethnic communities together. And coming from Azerbaijan, a country where Muslims, Christians, Jews, Baha'is, and other faith groups continue to live peacefully together, where Sunni and Shia Muslims pray even together in the same mosque, and where Orthodox, Catholic, and Baptists serve together. And finally, where I grew up seeing that harmony in action, I, it felt quite natural for me to embark on such a mission. And the many interfaith and intercultural events we have hosted at mosques, churches, and synagogues here in Los Angeles, where representatives of different faiths came together and got to know each other, appreciating one another, and building lasting friendships, especially when you see Muslims going to synagogue or church for the first time, or Orthodox Jews and Christians stepping in a mosque for the first time in their lives, all the while realizing once and forever that we might have different religions, but we are all united by one religion, and that's the religion of humanity. When we see terrorists attacking, killing, uh, and murdering innocent people at mosques, churches, or synagogues, we feel devastated. We also feel devastated when we see rising numbers of hate crimes committed against minorities in California, against the Asian, Pakistani, Jewish, Turkish, or our own Azerbaijani community. We feel even more devastated when elected leaders choose to selectively condemn such horrendous crimes, which makes the fight against hate crimes dependent on political expediency. Due to such political recklessness and opportunism, racist bigots representing some politically well-connected groups feel emboldened to commit hate crimes against members of smaller and underrepresented groups with impunity and are allowed to go scot-free. But feeling devastated and angry is not enough. This bigotry and intolerance taking hold here and many different parts of the world should not make us feel desperate and helpless. On the contrary, it must be a call to action for all of us to double or triple whatever we are doing to fight that hatred, to fight that bigotry wherever and in whatever form it appears, and to demand that the real fight is waged against hate crimes, not just in words and beautiful political statement, but also strongly in action, strongly in deeds. Therefore, more genuine interaction and among faith and ethnic communities is of paramount importance for knowing and accepting and appreciating one another creating harmonious societies where each and every person is seen first and foremost as a human being deserving to be treated with respect and dignity, no matter the ethnic, religious, or other background. Along these lines, this beautiful and sacred month of Ramadan gives us all the opportunity for self-evaluation and self-reflection. Ramadan invites us not only to get closer to God, but also to get closer to each, uh, to, to each other. And may we move forward with an even greater brotherhood and harmony. May we keep the light of mutual understanding, appreciation, and kindness shining forever. Thank you very much, Ramadan Barak.